Yeah, hello guys. Um, my name is King Sleeky, uh, founder of Dev Group. Yeah, and I want to welcome you officially to the uh, web development course. Yeah, in this course, you're going to uh, be so excited with what you're going to learn because you're going to learn uh, everything there is to know, every step by step, um, you know, things you need to do in um, creating your own website. And uh, this website you're going to be creating is going to be professional. Please, I want us to note that we're going to be creating this website with WordPress, okay? And for this particular tutorial, yeah, one of our international um, partners is going to be taking the course by the name uh, Greg Scott. Yeah, so um, he's going to run you through everything you need to know about designing a website. And uh, uh, at the end of this um, particular course, uh, it is 100% guaranteed that you should be able to create your first website. Yeah, so these um, steps has been made so very easy. You know, so there are four different steps, you know, involved in creating a website with WordPress. The first step is um, getting online, you know, which is getting your domain name, uh, your www domain name or whatever. Okay, now, aside that, now, um, Greg Scott is going to be um, teaching you, you know, how to get a .com domain name, okay? But in this particular short tutorial, I'm just going to run you through how to get, you know, bringing it back home now, because I'm very sure some of us would want to use a .ng domain name, right? Yeah, or the .com .ng domain name. So I'm just going to run you through how to get, uh, you know, how to get a .com .ng or .ng domain name instead of getting a dot com domain name okay yeah so bringing it back home now so in this very tutorial i'm just going to run you through how to get a dot uh ng domain name so we're going to uh jump right into it shortly now before then i want you to note note that um there are four different steps in creating a website which is first of all getting a domain name which is getting online after getting a domain name the next thing you need to do is which is still in the first step is uh hosting your website right that domain name you're going to buy you'll have to host it right hosting is where all your web tech uh, all your all your website information is saved where all your web website information is stored you know so uh without the hosting there is no website okay so the domain name you're going to get you're going to be hosting it and the official um you know hosting platform we use in web tech you know including all our partners we use uh um host ghetto host ghetto.com okay so in the tutorial you're going to see how to buy a dot com domain from host ghetto greg will draw you through that uh how to get a dot com domain and then how to host your website okay on a web or on a host ghetto.com okay yeah so after that the next step we need to do we need to take is installing the almighty wordpress okay because we're going to be creating this website with wordpress now i want you to also note that wordpress is one of the world's leading you know web design um, uh, platforms okay various uh leading companies and multinationals all over the world build their official website using wordpress okay so this is 100% one of the easiest way to build a website and you know professional way and contemporary way to build a website okay uh, so we're going to be running you through how to build a web website with wordpress okay now so we're going to be installing the wordpress platform on our website okay on our domain yeah that will be this uh, second step after getting our uh, getting our domain online right yeah so after installing um, the WordPress platform on our on our site, now the next thing we need to do, which is the third step, is uh, installing a page builder. A page builder is what helps you to build your website. Okay. Now, in the process of um, installing your uh, page, in the process of having your page builder, okay, your page builder is also going to help you, you know you know install templates okay which is also part of the third step we're going to install pre-made templates okay uh, website templates which you just uh, you know install into your 
your website and then your website is up and running and then the next thing you need to do is edit it okay just edit those templates that you have installed on the website so we're going to be running you through all these steps and process all the tricks you need to do everything with all the tools you need to you know install the tools are called the plugins okay so all these things are going to be free so i want you to also know that F building this website we're going to show you how to build a, a, a free website okay so you can have your own website and then you can even start building websites if you follow these are steps for clients okay and you're making a lot of money from it okay now after um you know installing a page builder and for this uh very uh, tut uh tutorial we're going to be using to build this website we're going to be using a plugin called elemental elemental is one of the world leading page builders for web uh, website developers okay for especially those who use um, wordpress elemental is one of the easiest you know visual page builder it actually helps you just edit everything right in your very eyes so you just design the things the way you want it to be change your colors you know you know you know do your page your fonts and everything just exactly the way you want to do it all you just need to do is click on it and edit okay that's how sweet elemental is very very easy so we're going to be showing you how to use elemental to create your website okay now after doing that the next thing we want to do is edit our template the template we have just installed the website template we have just installed you know the template comes with a, it's actually a full website okay a full fully designed website now what we're doing is we just installed it right into our own website because we like the templates of course there are lots of templates you can ch uh, choose from now when you select the, the right one you want all you need to do is edit it to be to be what you want like change the name put your website name change your logo you know edit your about us page you know put your info change your contact page and i mean your website is as good as done so if you follow these are steps in the next about two hours or more you know you should have your own website okay yeah i'm sure people will be surprised how it is uh, in just a few hours you're now a web developer okay we're going to show you the way forward okay now let's just dive right into it uh, which is um getting our ng domain name i'm just going to show you how to do it the reason why greg is taking this course is because i don't have need to build any website okay so greg is going to be building a website for you a website which is going to be live okay we'll run you through all the process of building the website okay so what i just want to show you now is how to get a domain name so in the section where he'll show you where to you know insert a domain like when you want to post to the website right yeah he's going to show you where you can actually put in your domain name that is if you buy your domain say we bought a, a dot ng domain from another platform uh, we're going to be using google host for this is a nigerian based um you know uh hosting platform so google host we're going to be buying our dot ng domain name from google host yeah so once we do that when we get on the hosting uh aspect of hosting our website all we need to do is to just enter the uh dot ng domain that we uh, have just purchased okay so what i'm going to do right now is just dive right into my browser okay now um once that is done uh, once that is done the next thing we need to do is oh pardon me my my network is kind of uh, bad but we're going to be right on it shortly so now meanwhile while we once we um get the domain name it's going to be registered online it, it, it doesn't cost much uh in naira it's around three thousand something if you want to get a dot com dot ng yeah, domain i think that one you can get it for around 1800 or thereabouts okay which is very very fair that's for one year okay in every year you have to renew yeah so it's worth it so for this website the only thing you need to pay for is buying your domain name which is very very affordable if you ask me getting a domain name for as low as 1000 something or 3000 depends if you want a dot ng domain name dot ng is a bit expensive I think dot ng is, is around somewhere somewhere around nine thousand or so yeah which is still very very fair if you ask me because um you know it's it's personalized it's home based okay so 
most people use dot ng and some of my websites i use dot ng okay but for web tech i use dot com dot ng because that's quite um, affordable so for starters i suggest you can use the dot com dot ng domain so all you just need to do is select that i'm trying to connect my internet i don't know why it's delayed okay so once we buy that we're good to go all we just need to do is dive right into the video with uh, greg and you know follow all the steps you can put in your your dot uh, ng or dot com dot ng domain name once you you know buy it it's going to be live okay all you just need to do is type in type it in www.whatever.com.ng okay yeah so <coughs> very very sorry my network is welcome to my job <laughs> yeah so very shortly we're going to be up this is really serious i don't know why this thing is taking my time okay yeah we're up so what we need to do right now is uh, type in the url www.googlehost.com so this is it up here so all you just need to do is enter so the website is going to open once it opens up um, what we, we need to do is type in we're going to see a place where we can search so you see this very place all we need to do here is just type in what we want the the website domain that we want let's assume that what we want for example okay like this one uh, let's uh, say uh, okay i'm a foodie i like food so <laughs> let's say foodie.com foodie so if you just type in this maybe sometimes you can add the dot com or dot ng let's say dot com dot ng okay now foodie.com dot ng all you need to do is come here and you click on search so what it's going to do is it's going to populate you know various options it's going to show you a dot com possibility show you if the dot com is still available or the dot ng is still available you know or the yeah whichever one is still available so anyone that you want all you need to do is just click on it okay when it opens i'll show you just that sometimes this website while i'm recording my screen it's always um acts funny so you see this foodie.com so dot com is available online dot online is available dot site is available okay you see what i'm talking about this thing it always brings up this thing when i'm recording my screen okay but that is just exactly the the, the way the, the the idea so from those things it populated there all you need to do is yeah all you just need to do is i think it's going to come back up so once it brings up all these um I don't know why it does that all the time but i mean but when you're not recording the screen it works it works very fine you can even buy it from your phone okay yeah but first again you need to note that um first of all you need to register okay you register so you can log in i'm logged in that's why i didn't ask me to register so you need to register so you're not lost yeah so foodie.com.ng so just quickly look before it goes up see the dot com dot size of space all these ones are available that's why i'm showing you the price anyone that is not available it's not going to show you the price okay all you need to do is just click on any of it and then it will show you the price and then you just uh, click on buy so it takes you to the payment page you just enter your card details and you buy it and it becomes yours okay i believe you guys are very smart people so you'll be able to do this uh, don't mind what is happening when i'm recording my screen it always happens like this so just try it out you see all those things buy your domain name and have it if you want to have a .ng that is but if you if you are fine with the .com domain just go straight into the video okay and greg will show you how to get it, a .com domain from um from uh, uh who's ghetto okay .com so this is exactly how to it's very very easy very easy step okay just buy your uh uh, 
this step so now another thing you need to know is after buying this uh, uh, domain name and you host it on a different platform which is host ghetto at some point you know when you have installed your wordpress uh, in your domain okay there's a place is going to ask you to insert a name server okay it, it might not load up the website until you copy the name server from google host here right and then place it on the name server uh, on the name server uh, portion in google uh, in a uh, web uh, uh, host ghetto right you copy the the name servers there's something called name servers i'm going to do a short video okay which is also going to be in this very course okay you see how to copy the name server from google host right and then paste it on your on your name server for uh, 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 you know where you're supposed to paste the name server on host ghetto okay so i'm going to show you uh, while you go into the course you're going to see a video showing you how to do that so but if you if you're getting a dot com domain name from host ghetto there won't be need to change any name server okay because you're using the same platform to buy your domain and still host your website or if you're using a different platform to buy your domain name and then putting it into a a a, a, a different platform to host it you need to change the name servers okay so that is uh worthy of note so i believe um uh we're clear enough just try this out on your own i'm sorry i couldn't show you the whole thing but exactly that's just how it works so greg will in the next um lesson greg will walk you through you know all the processes of uh, coming up with your own website okay uh until i come your way again okay i remain kingsley so um see you guys later okay all right